Hello, I'm Dave, and in this video, you're going to learn how to transfer your WordPress site to a new host. So let's get right into it. So the um, name of the original site we're transferring is called coolstorestuff.club slash coolinfo. Um, now, so what it is, it's a WordPress site that's actually in a folder called coolinfo. So you can have as many WordPress sites in different folders as you want. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but you can. And so we're going to transfer that WordPress site into a different one and um, it doesn't really matter if, it's, if you have yours in a folder or don't, It'll, it's the same approach. Um, and we're going to transfer it to a new host, and we're also going to give it a new name. So it's not going to say cool store stuff, it's going to say something totally different. So how do we do that? Well, let's go into our host that we are with. I'm with SiteGround. It's a fairly good um, host, by the way. It's pretty, pretty, fairly decent. I, was, I used to be with Bluehost, and uh, I switched over because I think, you know, I've been a long customer of Bluehost, and I don't think I was on solid state drive, so this one's a little faster. Now Bluehost is trying to get me back. So, you know, they weren't too bad, but like I say. So what we do to start, we click on File Manager. Okay, and enable this little checkbox that says show hidden files. Okay, go. Um, now, I should point out that, uh, you know, you can tell if it's, if it's working. If you can see your .ht access file, you know that uh, the, this is a hidden file and it's enabled. Um, however, I remember being with Bluehost, and when I checked that little box, even when I came in here, it didn't show it. And I had to, I'll show you a little trick in case that happens to you. Sometimes you have to, let's just see, oh yeah, it's this part here. Sometimes you have to type this at the very end of your um, line here, your, you scroll to the end. And this is the key thing, and show hidden equals one. And then it'll magically show the hidden files. That's just a little tip in case you run into that problem. Um, now, let's see what we can do. So what the very first step is, we gotta navigate to our, our site. That, uh, that's the site we, I just showed you right over here. Coolstorestuff.club slash coolinfo. So let's go back there, and oops, let's go in here. Okay, now let's navigate to it. Coolstorestuff.club right here, and coolinfo. That's, that's our site right here. Okay, so all of these files want to be selected, okay? and compressed. So uh, I've already done this, but I'm going to show you the procedure. Okay, so I compressed them all, and I'm going to uh, refresh this page, because sometimes it doesn't show up here until you refresh it. Oh, okay, we got to navigate to it again, because I refreshed. Okay, cool store, not club, and cool info. There we go. So, okay, I think we're good. It stored it in a, in a folder called WP Admin Dip. That's because of my mistake when I compressed it. Um, let me show you again. If I hit select all, I hit the word compress. You see, you're supposed to re- it automatically, what happens with the file manager, it tends to pull this first name, WP Admin, and it uses that as the name because it happens to be the first fo uh, folder. So I forgot to rename it. The contents is st still the same though, so all we have to do here, it's right here. Let's uh, click the rename, okay. And let's do it here. Let's call it cool info, okay? That's what we'll call it. Rename it. So no harm done. Everything, our entire WordPress site is in here, except for the database. So what we do then is we only need this, and we would download it to our computer. I've already done that, though. I'll show you. So I'm not going to do it again. I'll just you know, delete this file now, because I don't need it. I did it in advance. So I'll show you where I saved that. <coughs> Desktop. It's in a folder called Cool Info. I downloaded it right here, the zip, okay? Because yeah, you may want to know that as I proceed along in this video. So there's another thing I have to go get to download a site directly. I mean, this is all, this can be used for backing up a site too, okay? So you, you need these two files to back up a site. What well, we just did, that zip file, and we need the database. How do we get the database? So we go over here, okay? Into it, again, we're back in our control panel, and we scroll down until we see PHP, my admin. It's in databases. So let's click that puppy, and let us, uh, there we go. Now. Which database do we need? Well, the way we'd find that is we go back into File Manager, into Cool Info website, which is our it's a bookstore. Now we we gotta look for a little file, and don't get too scared of all these files because you don't usually do anything with most of them except for maybe the HD Access file and WP um, Config file. Those are the main ones that you'll ever work with. And you may work with some other ones if you get into an advanced level, but for for what we're doing here, those are the only two. Okay, so we edit this. Okay, and you're gonna see. It has the um, the uh, database name here, the database uh, user, the database password, and this is usually called local host for almost any host provider, but there might be a few exceptions to that, so keep that in mind. I mean, want to check with your own host provider. So I'm just pointing these out to you. These are what's going to be modified. And normally, um, you see where it says uh, David's 50, that prefix is part of the host. When you sign up for the host, you'll be, you'll be given a prefix, and usually you won't change that. Um, and so we're going to have a new prefix. We, we'll probably keep all the other names the same. Uh, I don't. Uh, I may change some of them, but anyway, just letting you know that generally you're going to change the first three lines: the uh, the database name, uh, the user, and uh, you could leave the password the same or change change passwords up to you. So here we go. We can close this now. 
Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Now um, we have to create a database. We have, or we have to download that database actually. So now we know which one it is. Actually, did I uh, uh, go back in here quickly? Sorry about that. Kind of lost my train of thought there. The database name we're looking for is David's fifty underscore Dave. Oh no, that's the username. The database is David's fifty underscore Cool Info. So we're gonna look for that over here. Yeah, David's fifty underscore Cool. No, that's cool store stuff. Cool info's right here. Okay, and make sure you're on the right one. So what we're doing essentially. So once I click that, okay, I then hit the export, okay, okay, and then I would say go, okay, and you notice this file, well, it's got a little one in the bracket because it knows we already, I already downloaded it, that's why, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to download this, right, we already, I did it a few minutes ago, okay, so I just want to show you how to do that, you got to download that, and now you've got a backup of your complete site, those two files, so now we are moving on to the new host, and we're going to upload it, so let's go to the new host, this is the new host, okay, uh, actually, it's um, let's sort of start from the beginning so we don't get sort of scrambled up here. Um, okay, let's do this. Here we go. This is the um, the uh, control panel, so it looks totally different, but it's you know same functionality and everything of the new host. The new host is called Lifetime Hosting, and I kind of like to call it Lifetime of Problems because it's quite a slow host provider, and you know if you're uploading a even if it's not a very large WordPress site, it'll usually give you errors when you're uploading it, especially if you're using plugins to upload it. The manual way sort of bypasses that. We, we can kind of get, we can upload a big site, but if you're using these plugins, it'll time out on you and you'll have lots of headache with it. So I don't advise going with these guys. I'll leave a, a link under the description of this video so you can check it out uh, for SiteGround. I would, I would advise for that. You can try other companies like Bluehost. If, uh, I think SiteGround's a bit more expensive, but it's probably, it's probably a little better. Uh, you get a lot of recommendations on the internet about SiteGround. And uh, so I'll, I'll leave a link for you there and, and maybe some other links to uh, some free courses that I have and stuff. Okay, uh, so let's now get into, we've got to get into the file manager. That's the first step, okay? Let's click on the file manager, I'm going to open it in a new window. So we have to come back here again later. Uh, okay, so here we go. Okay, so here we are. So we have to go, the layout in this is, is totally different than most conventional web hosts. So, but anyway, you'll eventually figure out your web host that, where all the files are and how they're managed. So we're going to put our new site into, into this. It's, this is one of the, my domains I have already. And th these come with, uh, you know, you can set up custom domains with this company called Li Lifetime Hosting. I think they were free when you bought their Lifetime of Hosting or Lifetime of Problems. Uh, and you can see these d domain names aren't too desirable, like you know, uh, linker.co.network. Well, okay, so that's what we're going to make a... Um, let's uh, open that up. We're going to make, make a folder in here, a custom folder. And we also we can't put it right under here. we got to go into the public folder first. That's how this one's structured. So it's a little different layout. So it looks like I already created a folder called Cool Info. And that's easy to do. You just, once you're here, you click this, right? Just in case you don't know how to do that, I'll show you. Um, okay, good. So this folder here, okay, yeah. To create a folder, now that we're in this public directory, we would just go down here and say, create, uh, it's a new folder, and you would just give it a name, it would save it in this area here. But I've already got it, so no need to do that. So now let's just open our folder called Cool Info. This is where we're gonna put the new site. Now you can see I've got a zip here, coolinfo.zip. Well, normally it would be blank if we're starting new, and I would have to upload that file from my computer. We already have that uh, file, as I showed you before, on the computer. So I've uploaded it because it's 785 megs. And, and it takes, you know, maybe five, three, four minutes to load up, so I don't want to wait, right? So I already have it there, so you don't have to wait and everything. So we're gonna ex what we do now is extract that file. Now, I should mention, if you're uploading this, you can upload it from here. I think you are the uh, file manager. Most web hosting companies will allow you to upload around two gigs. If your website is over two gigs, and that can, that can happen very easy, you want to use a, um, a program that, that does FTP. Uh, most popular one probably be FileZilla. It's a free one. So you can check into that if you have a really big site. Okay, so the files have been extracted. Now you can see all these files, okay? So first thing we're gonna do now is we are going to uh, go back in here and we're gonna create a database. We're gonna create a database because we need a new database uh, to upload to. So we go into MySQL um, section. Yours might look different. Like if you're using a uh, mostly conventional host, hosts are gonna look like this. The icons are gonna look a little different. MySQL, MySQL databases, okay? So, but with a new company, it looks like this. So, kind of a different looking icon. <clears throat> okay, so now we're opening that up and create a database. Okay, and it looks like I've created it, but I'm going to delete it because I was I was doing this once before. I'm going to delete that database just so we don't have any shenanigans going on here, so you understand how to do it too. Okay, done. Okay, so now we create a database by clicking this button. Okay, now what are we going to call this? We're just going to call it Cool Info. Okay. I um, should point out to you that in our old, the, the one, the, the old um, <coughs> host company, that this prefix will be different in the database. 
because we're making a new a new uh, we're with a new company, so it has this new prefix. I can't change this. Okay, cool info. Uh, yes, I'm going to use the same name. Normally, if you're making a site more secure, you probably change different names and stuff. But for demonstrations, I'm just going to use everything the same. The password, I'm going to put cool. I'm going to use the same thing. Okay, just to make it real quick and easy. So there you go. Create the database. Okay, I'm going to copy all this stuff here. It's for our database. Copy it. Okay, now I'm going to put this in a notepad. And I've already done that before, but just to, so, so uh, we don't get too confused. Okay, so it's all in a database. Now, the name of the original site, the URL, it was coolstorestuff.club slash coolinfo. The new domain is going to be linker.co.network.coolinfo. So it's a totally different domain. And, uh, and these are the, this is the new database here, the information. Now, this is not information to log into the WordPress once we install it. This is just the database login details. I used to get that confused. Okay, so what we're going to do, and I'll just show you, show you some. If I can get back to where we were. So, yeah, we're in linker.co.network. Cool info. That's our new site, and it's going to have the bookstore. Okay, so um, what we need to do, what we need to do now, there's a file in here you got to open up. And uh, so let me just, I think we did everything correctly so far. There's one thing I just want to make sure that I didn't forget in that... Uh, when we made the database here, and I forgot it once before. Okay, so we've created our database, so let's click on this again. I might forget to do it. Okay. Access, okay, we, okay, here we change password. Modify privileges. Okay, let's make sure we enabled all the privileges. I think I just want to make sure this is granted. And again, this area might look different here, so just make sure you grant all the privileges. Okay, so change, that's good. Good enough. Okay. Now, let's go back into here. This is the file manager again, and let's go down to where it says WP config. Okay, this is this is a file that uh, we don't have to check it. I guess this is a file we want to edit, and you can see why in a second. Okay, this is the area that we have to modify. We have to change these um, the database name, the database user, and the password, etc. Whatever we want it to be. So we've already um, we've already saved all that information right here. So let's just modify that right now. So right there is our um, database name, right in between the quotes paste that right there and let's get the next one database user as you can see I've used very similar names copy well I guess my user is totally different okay no big deal and the password what was the password I think it was just um, cool info right gonna type it in probably faster uh, okay so that's it so now we've got everything updated here right so we can save it I can find out how to say okay there it is save it okay now let's go back now now that we've we've um, updated that file, that's good. But there's a few more things we got to do. I just you know uh, we're just doing some host clicking here because we have to do all this. Uh, now let's go back in here. There's another. We got to open up another um, another icon here. It's, uh, this one. This one. Oh, I always miss it. It's under extra features. Now normally in your host and most hosts, this is going to be right here. PHP my admin, and then you know the one we used before was this one. So uh, this one's kind of scattered around because it's um, it's. Uh, Way down here under extra features. Okay, so well, let's open it up. She's finally opened up, um, and I paused the video for a while because this, this site is this uh, host is very slow. So, this is our database that we, um, <coughs> in fact, created. I'm gonna uh, open it up. Okay, it's um, opened up again. Now I'm going to um, finally opened up, and it doesn't look like there's any file, uh, files here, which is good because it's a new database. I'm just going to click on here just to make sure that's uh, correct. Okay, yeah, it's basically saying no tables found. So there's nothing there right now because it's brand new. So we got to import the database that we saved. So I click the import button and I'm just waiting for this to load. There we go, finally. Uh, I'm not sure if it takes us so long, but uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I did that once before. Okay, so we click the browse button. This is the file. It's on, this is where we saved the database. It's the SQL file. Click it, open it, and hit go. Okay, it looks like it's um, finally uh, finished. I'm gonna, um, I'm going to uh, click this again here to see if it shows it. Okay, it's finally showing the um, all the files underneath. Unique, BE, cool info. Just make sure you're in the right one all the time because these are other these are databases for other sites I have. So this whole gray area is all the areas you need. Now we have to do something in here. We have to um, have to find one of these. Okay, it's the options one we need. Okay, so let's click on the options one, and it's gonna load that. Okay. Now we finally got the options. This is this is the information in the options. So we need to change these. This is the old site. So it's because it's the database we imported. We need to reflect the new URL here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna click this edit button here. Okay, finally there. It's there. Okay, so now what we have to do is take this link here. This is this is gonna be the name of our new site, right? 
copy that. Just get rid of the old site and I'm going to go over it. Okay. And then I'm going to hit go, which is saving it. Good. So it's changed. You see, linker.co.network.coolinfo. Now we've got to change this one. It's the only other one we've got to change. But I'll just bear with me a few seconds there. Uh, I think it should almost be there. But in most, you know, good hosts, this will only take about a second when you click it. So there you go. <laughs> you get something for a low cost, you pay the price in time. So this is the only we got to change again. Yeah, that's it. And hit go. There we go. So both of them are changing. You can see it right here. These two lines. One, two, one, two. Okay, so that's done. Now, um, I'm just going to give you a quick tip since we're in here and it won't take long. So we're in the option setting. If you click on the user setting, um, there's an area that you can change your um, your um, admin, like when you're logging into WordPress. This is just when you're logging into WordPress. You can change the admin username and password. In WordPress, you're not allowed to, I think you think you're allowed to delete the admin. Here you can do anything. You could you got more control. So it's just a tip. Um, I might make another video on that, but I don't want to get sidetracked right now. Um, how to do that. So this is the back end, you know, even it has more control than WordPress. Um, now, we've done this in here. So that's one change we have to make. We've already changed the WP config file. And and we've so what else have we got left here? This is our file manager. Um, let's see if our website works at all. It probably won't, but let's just double check. So what we're gonna do is copy the name of the website, uh, the site. Okay, here it is. It's the new site. Let's see if it does anything here. Paste and go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we get an error. 403. Not to worry, because I know how to fix it. Okay, so what we have to do to get rid of that error. Okay. We have to let us, we can delete this, or it, it's a dot ht access file. It's got a dot in front of it. It's hard to see, but you need that. That's exactly how this file's got to look. And this file, um, I'm going to rename it just in case. We, for some crazy reason, we need it, but I don't think we will. We'll call it backup. Okay, we can delete it later. So it'll rename that to backup, you see? Um, okay, so that, that file essentially won't work now, okay? And if we reload this page, we'll probably see our site. There's our site. However, I don't think our site will be fully functional. Let's click on one of these books. See, 404. So, and another thing I wanted to look at when I... Yeah, okay. So there's a few other things we need to do. Um, let's now log into this site. We should be able to log into this, into the WordPress uh, backend office of WordPress. I'm just going to make a paste. And to log login is going to type wp-admin, just like that. And... This will be your original password from the old site. It hasn't changed anything here. Of course, you can edit that once you're in WordPress. Or in the back end office of my, uh, my PHP, my admin, which has more control, as I mentioned. So we're going to just say you remember that for... Okay, so now we're in the back end office, okay? Now, there's a few things I want to do here. I want to go to settings and to permalinks, okay? This, this is what uh, you normally have to do. Uh, I've been told to save it, but I've, some videos, uh, information saves it twice. What happens? I just save it twice. It... it um, there's some stuff in the database that sometimes doesn't get updated properly, so if you just save that twice, you don't have to do anything, it'll update it. Let's double check now, see if, let me reload this page, see if that's corrected any problems here. Yes, it's fixed, it's fixed the, the, I think it's fixed all our problems. So that's great. Um, let's just try another one here. And also make sure that this URL is matching. Okay, because we're going to do another thing here in a second. Um, there's one more thing we want to do. Okay. Because uh, yours might not match, and um, what we're going to do to to make sure, because see what happens is we've changed this. This is our um, old site, and it's our new site. Sometimes the, some of the images and stuff will still have this in its domain, and it'll be pointing to our old one. Now, don't forget, our old one is I haven't deleted the old site, so if I did that, this may not 100% work with the images and stuff. So what we want to make sure we do, because it may be pointing to the old site. So what we want to make sure we do now is we're going to get a, we're going to get a plugin okay install a plugin there's two ways to do this on, on I, and i'll post it underneath this video there's a um i did a longer video it was really long so i'm trying to make it shorter because it's, it's over an hour it's about an hour and 10 minutes or maybe more um and it shows a, a way to change the, your urls just to make sure everything's changed um but i like this method more that i'm going to show you and, and and it used a um try to find that uh i can find out oh here this is it it used this uh plugin you, it's free. You can get it. You just have to give them your email, I guess, and they'll send it to you. It's called Interconnect. So if you do a web search for Interconnect, because uh, this, is, this isn't the link for it here, if you do a web search uh, for Interconnect, um, search and replace, you'll find it because you know, it's it's all about search and replace. And so you, you basically just stick in your old uh, URL in here and the new one here, 
and then um, you can kind of you can watch my other video though because it goes into more detail. But for this, for what we're going to do here, we're going to do something easier. We're going to install a plugin. Okay, add new, add new plugin. We're going to search for a plugin called Velvet Blues Update URL. So, so you can see I was in there already earlier. Okay, how come it's Velvet Blues? That's kind of strange. It should be Velvet Blues. I'm, oh, here it's right in front of me. Oh, I'm looking for something different. I think. Okay. Sometimes if something's right in front of you, you miss it. It's amazing. Okay, so Velvet Blues. So what we do here now, quite easily, we, uh, we're we going to go to where it says Update URLs right here. Click this. Okay. Now it's, it just wants the URL. And uh, so what I did here, um, I tried different variations of it before, but all it seems to want is the uh, <clears throat> this version. It's the HTTPS version. That was my original site, coolstorestuff.club. Um, slash info them. Now you may have different variations like with the www.cool store stuff. So you may have two variations in your site. So you may want to run this twice. So let's run it once for this. And then this is our new site right here. Okay. Okay, there you go. So these are both secure. They have the S in front of the HTTPS, right? And so we're changing anything that's in the site that refers to this. We want it to refer to this. This is the new site. And we're going to check all these check boxes off. Basically it's looking for everything. Right, so let's give that a run. Bingo, done. So it found 12 items: posts, pages, custom posts, types, and revisions. Okay. Now, you know, you can also take the S off in case there were some references without the secure things. And I don't know if there was, so it won't, won't do anything. It won't damage anything if we do it. Okay, it doesn't have any. It just found zero. And the other thing is, what if there was a www dot? I'm just trying different variations too. Uh, maybe I'm going overkill, but you know. Uh, sometimes these things creep up, and this way we change everything. Nothing found there. And now we can try it without the S2 with that. So I'm trying four variations. That's very pretty quick anyway. Okay. Nothing. Found nothing. Okay. So the only thing left that sometimes is, is necessary is to go into uh, pages. That's right, pages. Okay. Highlight all your pages. And there we're going to go and we're going to edit them all. And we're going to apply this. And the status, we're going to change them to draft, okay, and update it. So in case there's sometimes uh, things don't get set up right in the database, it's like it needs to be switched off and on again, sort of thing. And that sort of refreshes the database. So here we go. I'm going to highlight them all again, okay. So make sure we get them all. Um, you know, I'll, do, I'll do it with two. This is page number one. So I'm not sure if this is getting page number one and two. So We'll go and do both pages anyway. So, edit. And now what we're going to do, we're switching this on to published. That's all we did there. Okay. Okay, now we'll go into, I think, I don't know if it selects all the pages here. So let's go to page, the block two. And let's just go to select this, bulk actions. Edit, apply. And we'll do the same thing. We're, we're going to call this a draft. And, and then we're going to publish it in a second. <coughs> now we we'll do it again. Edit. Apply, and we'll make sure it's published. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's the other major change. The only thing I would do now is I would do that with posts. I'm not sure if posts are handled, if pages already takes care of that, but there's no post in here, so we don't have to do it. So we're done. It's uh, Everything's done. Um, let's just double-check our site again. Let's go to the main area. Let's just go here. This is the way to get to the main. Okay, so we're at the main root of the site, and then it's the new site. Okay, so let's click on a few books, make sure everything looks like, it, yeah, looks like it's working. Uh, yeah, this looks like it's a, uh, see, looks like we're good. So that's all there is to uh, transferring a WordPress site manually to a new host, changing the URL. And the advantage of this is that um, you can do as big of a site as you want, and you don't have to have plugins and stuff because they limit you and stuff. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and you know how to manage some areas of the site a little more too. So thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the like and the or the um, subscribe and the bell for notifications on some more how-to videos that I make. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comments below. I'll try to help you if you need help doing this, and or if you need some tips, let me know. And um, check out some of the links I have. I have some other links to uh, some free courses and hosting, and I'll put whatever I think is beneficial to you there. All right, thanks for watching.